Hello, my name is Steve and I'm going to show you how I created this kind of weird bi-directional op optical illusion photo using two photos. I've got a profile photo and also a front facing. We'll start with that profile photo. Grab the quick select tool and select subject. Go ahead and click on select mask. And for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do any refine edges here, but you can refine edges as you need to. I'm just gonna click my radius up a little bit. And then we're gonna output this to a new layer with layer mask. Click okay. Go over to our front facing photo and do the same thing. Select and mask, and we'll get a, not smoothing, we'll get a little bit of radius in there. And the front facing one, we want to just do that to a new layer. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and add a background here. If we hold the control button down at the same time that we add a new layer, it should place it below that, and then fill it with whatever color you want for your background. Um, I've been using white. Somebody suggested maybe gray would be a better choice. Uh, Alexa's giving me a reminder here, so sorry about that. All right, we've got that added. Let's go ahead and go back over to our profile. We need to get the move tool out. So if we hit the V, or we can click on the move tool up on the top here and just slide that up to the front facing photo and as we slide it back down if we hold the shift button that will center it and then the next thing you want to do is click on the the uh, front facing and slide that down below the profile slide the mask down and then click on the link between the two. That'll allow us to move those separately. Let's hide that layer for just a minute. Click on this layer. And then if we do control T, that'll open up our transform tool. So if you need to adjust the size of the photo so that there's the same or uh, something like that, you can do it. Then we slide this over until we want to make sure our lips match up there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then that the nose is in the right position here because we're going to change noses. And that doesn't look too bad right there. Go ahead and click OK. Turn the profile layer back on and select it. And then if we hold the Alt key down as we add a new mask, it will hide that layer. Grab our brush tool, click the B, or click on the brush up here. And then we want to make sure that the foreground is set to white. If it's not, click the X and it will make it white. Get a soft brush, and then just brush in that profile nose and it doesn't look too bad right there I guess weird shadows that you can get rid of um, kind of got a weird thing down here we click on this and then maybe get a hard brush we can fill that in a little bit uh, or exactly how to do that and it looked too bad right there and then from there probably want to crop it a little but uh, yeah basically that is it it's a fairly easy process uh, once you've done it a few times hopefully this is helpful to just kind of do a, a little fun little little uh, portrait if you made it through to the end, thank you for taking the time to watch the video and have a great day.